Alrighty, welcome back. It's Sunday, Sunday fun day. Uh, I want to thank everybody for the comments on the front end. Um, I listened to some of the comments that were wrote in that were, you know, positive. And uh, I'd come up and I'd check my front end again. It did go up and down. Yes, it did. It went up and down. I picked it up and down. But I wanted to do a little test. And I did a test where, where I mounted them different. I had two rods here. I did a test. And uh, when, I, when I tried to work it, it did not work. It did not work. So when I come back over to the front end and, and picked it up and down, um, I could see, I could watch this bushing flex a little bit. And this bolt here, yeah, it was flexing a little bit. I noticed that. It was squeaking. So when I got looking at it, this rod right here, I, I've got it lengthened now because I've fixed it. That's the objective is I fixed it. That's, my, that's what I'm getting to. I fixed it. Um, so I've now I've got it back on the same plane again. So it should work properly. Um, I think it would have worked that way, but it would have that bushing would have been would have been binding a little bit because I did pick it up and down no problem. But now that I have done this and fixed it, I'm, I'm very I'm happy that I have. Um, also, um, this one's on the car right now. Um, yeah, so when I come up last night, I fixed it. When, when I cut these off, or when I sectioned these, I took a piece out of this. I took a piece out of there right there. You can see where I remember I cut that off, and I took three inches out of that. I took three inches out of that. And what that did, that bring this back, that length over here, that, that was over here at one time, because the three inches would have been over here, and that made this go inside the chassis. Where I have sectioned it and shortened it, then I can mount it right there. When I come up last night and it was mounted right there, then I, then I could see that I could mount it underneath my chassis now because I had sectioned it. But it was too short. So it sort of was an easy fix because me sectioning it put it where it needed to be to go underneath the chassis so it worked properly. Um, I just had to go one step further and, and add to it and go underneath the chassis so the... the it's lined up and it works properly, the control arm. So the control arm has no, there's no binding there whatsoever on the control arm now because I have it both on the same playing field. Yeah, so I, I actually did something that I needed to do and then I learned something as I went along and then I fixed it. <laughs> Basically, that's it. Um, yeah, it's cool. I'm, I'm happy about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy that... I have no issue there. You know, when people are saying it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, you got to take, you got to listen, you got to listen a little bit, you know, if you're doing it. But let's face it, I'm, I'm building the car. I am building the car. But I mean, if I'm putting myself there, I'm going to listen a little bit. And I have listened and I'm going this way because it works with no binding whatsoever. The other way it worked. But when I did the test, the little test there on the two rods, it did not work. So I'm, I'm happy that I went this way. But me sectioning, sectioning this rod helped me perform what I had to do to get it done. So um, I moved forward on every step. It's just I had to stretch it to put it back in place. So right now I'm just finishing welding it up, actually. I'm just going to finish welding it up before I put it on. Actually, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, actually. I'm gonna, i got a little bit of weld underneath here to do. What I've done is I've cut that. I put a piece of rod in it, stuck that rod in there, put a piece of, put the old piece on her there, on top of it, and then weld this rod inside this. So there's a piece of rod in there, inside there, and then I weld it that shot so it's strong. Didn't want to cut it there, but that's the only way I could get it to this playing field again. Um, where I sectioned it, that made it come away, or up on the frame a little bit, so it didn't have to go inside. When it, the frame tucks down, see? So now I'm... I'm right in place. Where I have cut this, where I have cut this, where I've cut that. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this on there. I'm going to finish welding that there. That was just welded there before. I have lengthened this here, and I've got a rod inside. I left distance. I'm leaving the weld on it. I'm leaving. Then I'm going to put this in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, finish the weld here. I'm going to bolt it back up to the car because now I have the mount moved and this where it's got to be and I'll get it in place, and then I'm going to put this, weld this piece on this arm up to here. I'm going to weld it up to here on this arm. I'll keep it cool by the, with, by the bushing, 
and I'll weld it all the way along here, and then I'll weld it all the way along here. Then this, this will be a permanent fixture on the car. This control arm will be one piece and one piece only because now I'll, I'm going to weld it all together. Um, that'll give that strength and just a little bit of appeal, I think. It'll give it a little bit of strength. Uh, I think that's probably 16 gauge, probably 16 gauge. So that'll strengthen that up, and then we'll be happy about that. Um, yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I, what can I say? I didn't like happening to lengthen that, but I can make it twice as strong by doing that. And it's, and it's for looks, so it's, it's really, I have to say that I enjoy it, I guess. I have to say that I enjoy it. What am I doing? I got a little bit of weld down here to fix before I get started. And the welder's right underneath there. Let me show you what I do. Show you what I do, man. I guess that just proves a point. That I'm never too old to listen. <laughs> Doesn't it, huh? That proves a point. I'm not too old to listen. Not too old to listen once in a while. Got to check things out. And what I did is I come up and, and proved it for myself. I did a little test, and I did not like the test that I did. So I immediately jumped in and fixed it. You know what I mean? I kind of went over and looked it up again, and I seen that I could put it underneath the chassis because it was there anyways. I just didn't have the length on this end. So, yeah, it all worked out. It all worked out. Running good, put her again. <laughs> she burned on there now, bro. Like to burn it in nice and hot on that stuff, you know. There's no tack welding on that. nice when things can work out like that it really is it really is I'm gonna put a pair of gloves on because I'm gonna get burnt aren't I I'm gonna get burnt I don't my mind excuse me for a second you know building cars is so much fun because it's so much it's a learning process you know as I'm doing this I'm, I'm learning exactly what's going on um, next time I do a front end, I will make sure, I will make sure that that's in place. Just like the rack and pinion, <laughs> first time I did that, I put it on the wrong side. Christ, I started her up and went to drive up the door and it went, it went almost drove in the wall. But if you don't know, <laughs> if you don't know, that's how you learn, right? That's how you learn. And uh, when I come up here and I pick that arm up and it, it come up, it tells me that it would have worked. Yes, it would have. That bushing probably would have wore out in a year or two, pretty quick, probably, probably, but it did work. Um, but I think this is going to work better. I know it's going to work better. I know it. Um, because of the trick that I tried to do or the little test I did, and uh, it did not work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it all back in place, and it's basically what I'm doing is, is oh, I'll shut that off. So I'm going to put it all back in place. Basically what I'm doing is I'm going to put it back in the jig. Um, exact same thing as the, as the 40. Um, 
I, I, we welded the hood on it and then fixed it. So this is what I want to do. I want to bolt this piece on, get this arm bolted on, and then we'll weld that piece in because we know it's, then, then, then we know it fits. And that's probably the only way we would know it fits, I guess, is we put it on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this arm on. So I bolt for that side. There she is. We'll put this one on. Everything's so tight, you know what I'm saying? Everything's so tight. Tight and right. Tight and right. Huh? Put this arm in there. I showed you that we had it on the right playing field as the last as the arm before. Put this nut on for a washer. Have to have the air compressor on to work, generally. So the mount stayed exactly the same. I cut. I cut the ends of them off. I cut the ends of them off, but the mount because I had to push them in. But the mount, I marked the, the lines where I had before, and they're exactly they're exactly where the mounts are now. It's just in further to match up with my front mount. I don't know if I can get this on now. Ah! They were so long. Let's do this. Try to take it off that way too, I did. That's still hot. <laughs> Come on, Chetty. Such a hard time. There we go. It falls in now. There we go. Get down, I gotta get down. Hey, come on in. I'm put that nut on. I'm just using the the big nut. There is a bushing to get this tight because it's a lock washer. I don't want to ram it on tight yet. Not at all. Not at all. Put my two nuts on here. Get it in place. Do, 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 do. It's a great day. Isn't it? Joey's doing the. Come on over, take a look for a second. Get off my knee. Jolene's doing the free air water for the gas, or for the air station. Doing a beautiful job. Uh, guess how she's doing that? How, she, how is she painting the red on? 
I'll give you one, two, three, four, five. Nail polish. She's got a nail polish, exact same color, and she's painting it on there. Nail polish, she's got hardener in it. Beautiful job. Doing a wonderful job. Nail polish. Uh, Jolene came up with that idea on her own, not me. Put that on. Put that on. <laughs> this stuff is heavy, eh? There. So, we're all in place. We're, we're, we've got the bolt in this one. It's not completely tight. No, it's not. Um, we've got the bolt in this one, and uh, it works a lot better. <laughs> works nice. And it's still got a little squeak to it, but that's the way it works. You know what I mean? It works good now. I'm happy with that. Very happy. Very happy. So now, now I, just, I just didn't like this part. I want to add a little bit to it to make it look a little better, so we've made this piece here. And I'll run the weld all the way along to make it fit nice. Push it in there. We'll weld it all the way down along here, all the way along there. And we'll do a fantastic job. And that'll be our one, that'll be our control arm. I'm gonna start the welder up, plunk a few welds on it. So this arm will never come off, it will not come off unless you cut it apart. Basically, that's the end of it. It will not come off unless you cut it apart. And uh, we're not going to do that. I, I like this. I like that metal. And you can imagine how, how much stronger that's going to make that. You'd have to rip that to, to affect that. Learning every day, I am. Learning every day. You, you know, sometimes you've got to make that mistake. Or make... It really wasn't a mistake because... I'm not saying mistake. Um, when I sectioned it, I really had to do that to get where I was going. So I was going in the right direction. Just didn't get all the way done, you know? So it's good. It's good. And let's face it. Um, when, you're, when you're building something, you know, I would not want to build something unsafe. Not, not even close. And then post. <laughs> and watch me. Watch me hurt us. <laughs> right? <laughs> No, I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do that. Um, but this is the front end that I, you know, had in the dooryard. This is the front I had in the dooryard. Also, this front end is wider than most cars in the front end. You would have to, you can get all the outside gear, that's no problem. But you'd have to section your cross member that you got. You'd have to, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Get back on the game here, Chetty. Alrighty, we're going to tack this bad boy in. Need my helmet. We're going to go for a little scoot in the 62 today, baby. We're going to go for a scoot in the 62. It's nice weather out. Alright, I just want to do this. What I'll do is, up by the bushing, I don't want to heat that bushing up and, and do any damage there at all, that's for sure. So what I'll do with the bushing is, I'll make sure I have air with me at all times when I'm doing it to cool it off to make sure that I'm not getting no big heat up there. I just want to connect it, that's all. Um, clamps. That's basically about it. Just want to connect it. Also, this gives it a nice look. Once they're all sandblasted and cleaned up, let's face it, who wouldn't want that control arm on their car? Good enough for a Bugatti, good enough for me. Now, I'm just going to weld that down that seam there. just want that to fit right, that's all, before I start going. Before I start chewing into her. There we go. That looks good. Beautiful. Like it. I love it. I want that knee pad back on. I love it. We have air right here in case I get anything hot or decide to weld it. That knee pad doesn't want to work for me. Does it? No. 
it's going to one way or the other. In a baby. Alrighty. That's one attack. It looks good. I'm going to. Right there. <coughs> one ground. I'm just going more or less where it lies. Where it lies, nice. More or less. Good. Looks good. Working so good that well right this way. Yeah, protect well here. Come on. It's not coming off, so there we go. Didn't need that, so I'm not putting that on. Turn that on. I want to get that out of there. Wire. Damn it. So something so simple bugged me, but it it bothers me. I want that wire out of there. There. So mounts underneath. Well, to the bottom of the chassis like the old mount. Just, it's just tacked there for now. Just tacked there. When it comes time and the, everything's ready to go, that'll have to be cleaned up. And I'll have to put the gusset, gusset on that. And the gusset's for to make it strong. This is a gusset too, I guess you would call it. Um, it's a gusset too. I got to get that down in there so I can plug. Well, get that on the other side. Get that tight. I'm going to want to weld that on the other side, probably on this side. I'm probably going to want to see what happens. Yeah, see what happens. But that's basically now. I, don't, I might have to chew some. I might have to chew some of this out. Might have to. See how that's how well that'd be on the ground by the time that hits. That'd be a good bump stop, wouldn't it? <laughs> that I think, yeah, that'll be on the ground before that decides to hit. That'll be on the ground. That's cool. I won't have to do anything there then. I'm gonna have to take that off and get that tight down there along the bottom. I might weld these holes shut on this. I might, because it doesn't need it on top of this, just weld the holes shut. But we'll see, that'll just hold that piece on. I'm gonna put a put a bolt and a washer on the end of this. See if it can't come off. Get. I guess basically that's sometimes why I don't wear gloves. It's hard to do two things at once with gloves on. Where did I put that? Hmm. Yeah, where did I put it? See it? No, not that one. I just had it in my hand, but what did I do with it? Duh. I lost it. I put it right there. What did I do with that? Hmm. There it is. I'm just putting that on there so that can't fall. So basically, that's what I'm going to do for a lower control arm. I'm going to say my lower control arms are going to be...
Do you like it? I think she likes it. Uh, it's going to have to be welded up, ground off to make it look nice, all along this edge, welded up nice. Yeah, just. Just wondering if I want to cut it different. That's all I'm looking at. As I'm looking at it here, this control arm's got a bend in it right here, eh? I'm just wondering if I should cut it over here and get that bend out of it and just lay it down more flat. You know what I'm saying? There's a bend right here. If I take and cut it down more. And that's basically just by doing what I want to do. But there's a bend here, and it's affecting this part a little bit. I'd like to see it lay flatter, I think. I think maybe we'll take and chop it up there like that but that'll have to be welded all the way around there and that'll make sure that doesn't go anywhere and that'll make sure that arm stays together really nice that's good so basically what I got to do is got to take this one out put, make a piece for this side I have a pattern over here what I've cut it out with that way get my marker I may as well cut one out and make it a maze of well I'm not geared up for the marker where'd I put that is my pocket got my pocket Thanks, everybody, for watching, commenting, obviously, commenting. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You know, when you send a message, I, you know, Jolene reads it to me. Uh, I don't take it for granted. I'm not that kind of person. I listen. Um, let's face it. Um, I run it through my brain, anyways. And uh, last night was good. Come up here and uh, looked it over. I can move that right in further where it should be. And I did it. Awesome. Um, that's the way customizing goes. Also, when that happens, that gives me the opportunity to do a little bit of customizing like that. You know, just because I, sec I sectioned it there, gives, you know, I want to put more integrity back in it so it'll never go anywhere. That's what we do. That's what we do. As you watch, as you watch me and Jolene build this Bugatti from the ground up, don't the, building everything, I hope that you take one thing from it, you know, that we're not scared to fail, and we're not scared, we're, you know, we're not too proud to listen either. Um, basically, that's where it's at. Once you get, when you're too proud to listen and, and know everything, it's over. <laughs> and it's definitely not over for me. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Ain't that right, baby? Whoop, whoop. It's Sunday. I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to clean that up. Oh, geez. That one's already on there. I might be able to clean that on, put that on real quick, see what happens. Uh, da, 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 da. We have to get it in the right direction. I have to take that out. Any, do we have to give hat or, hat or t-shirt away? We only got 600 comments? Come on, people. I want to give away some gear, man. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> we'll give away gear when it's time. If, if you know, we get a thousand comments, you know. Boys, I got this front end looking good now, boys. All the people on the internet that said that won't work, they should be proud of me. I listened. 
shouldn't they? They should all should be proud of me. I listened. I came up here and looked at it and took some advice and, and went for it. But it would have worked, believe me. <laughs> it would have worked, and it would not have hurt nobody. Um, it's mad, it would have been mad the same way. It's just maybe some of the steering wouldn't maybe felt good. Who knows? Could have been a new invention right there. Could have been, but it wasn't. And what what did you know? What what uh, set me straight was when I did the little test for myself. You know, when I did the test because I had to find out for sure. If I was right or if I was wrong or what needed to be done, right? And uh, that's what you got to do when you're building a car. You have to be able to do that. If you're not able to do that, <laughs> it's not good. So it goes on there like, how to get that on there? Bum, 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 bum. Chetty, come on, man, come on, man. Yeah, fit the ears, huh? Beautiful. And trim the ears, join it a little bit. Boobity, boobity, boobity. Go too far. Just a little bit more. Not much. Just where the line is. <laughs> These will be sandblasted. Everything in the end, <clears throat> once I get everything manufactured and everything welded up nice and everything ground nice, then the sandblaster will turn on and we'll hit every piece, hang them and paint them and then place them on. But uh, basically, I've got to build it first. Got to build it first. <laughs> that side. And I'm gonna have to take that off, finish welding this arm up here and underneath. I'll take that off and do that. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna call it quits for today. You know why? Because it's Sunday and it's a nice day out. We should be in the old car driving around having fun. But that's the lower control arm. I'm, I'm calling, I'm hopefully, I'm calling the lower control arm. I can't call it finished because I haven't got it welded on. <laughs> but I can call it mocked up to where I'm satisfied. The bottom, just the bottom control arm is satisfied. Now, um, probably tomorrow, probably Monday, I'm going to try to dig into the top control arms. Probably dig into the miles well stay right stay put right there. Fix that stuff up, get that looking good, and then um, be happy with it. I gotta dig this off, gotta cut that off, and be done with that. 
And that's about it. Thanks, everybody, for the comments and the good things. Uh, the bad things, well, we take them, too. We just... But anyways, it's all good. I'm happy now. You know what I'm saying? It has motivated me to learn, and I listened, and uh, I'm very happy with the way that looks. Put a nice airbag on top of that. Whoop, whoop. Have a good one, everybody.